So one of the new features of the Galaxy S5 is the fingerprint scanner. And it's integrated directly into the home button. And you can register, I'm assuming, more than one finger um, so that in case you lose a finger, you have other fingers to use. Uh, so let's go ahead and walk through the fingerprint scanner registration. So I'm gonna, I have to swipe eight times. One. Oh, that didn't work. So I have to swipe the entire pad. For the heck of it, I'm gonna do my thumb and see if it rejects it. It did not. And I'm gonna do my thumb again. Let's see what it does after that. Okay, so I'm gonna enter a password. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still not good enough for Oh, it must contain the ladder, so let's do A. Remember that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and A, or else we're gonna get screwed later. Okay, all right, so that's done. So let's test to see how good the fingerprint scanner works. Surprisingly, after you register, it doesn't automatically select your fingerprint scanner as your default mode, so you actually have to go in and select it. So let's go ahead and do that now. So now I'm in here, it says it's locked down. It, it gives you this little cue, which is kind of cool because it's telling you to swipe your finger and it detected it pretty good. But you know, I, I did register my thumb twice in there. So I'm gonna see if it actually works just for the heck of it. Oh, so basically what's interesting is this could be an unintended feature that Samsung uh, added you basically during your registration you can register more than one finger as you saw there I did eight fingers with my index and two with my thumb and it works so I'm gonna have to confirm with Samsung if that's a, an intended feature or if it's a bug okay so more on that later um, with that it just seems like it works I mean let's see in real life if you were just holding it like this if that actually works nope so Yep, it recognized it. it was pretty quick. Let's try it again. And that worked. Uh, nope. Are they over there? It worked. Um, so I've, let's see if I hit the home button. And it recognized. So consistently, as you can see there, it works quite, oh, quite fast. Let's do it sideways. And it didn't recognize it. So that's one of the differences with with the Samsung S5 fingerprint scanner versus the Apple iPhone uh, scanner is that you can, on the iPhone, you can have any part of the finger and it'll still recognize it. Whereas on the S5 fingerprint scanner, you must swipe the entire finger in order for the device to recognize and unlock.